truck toolboxes. A lot of us have them, you know, but the biggest problem with them, the little compartments and whatnot, no keys. So um, years ago I, I learned how to do this. Uh, I haven't done it to this particular one. I'm going to show you guys how to rekey it really fast and make that truck toolbox that you don't have a key for um, lockable. Here we go. This is just a, uh, a cheap plastic one, but it's the same with those metal ones and whatnot. Um, I don't have a key for it, but it does lock or it does, you know, open. So that's the first thing is to open it. Um, the next thing is just to remove the entire assembly. Um, this one just had little bolts on each side, so I just barely undid those bolts. So it should just push right through now. There we go, that's our assembly. Now, all these little locks, these little push button locks and whatnot, they're gonna be held in with some sort of, on the inside, some sort of retaining, like a, a pin, but usually it's like a, you know, a little C-clip or something to that effect. Um, this one just happens to be, let's see if I can get you guys in there. And different manufacturers are gonna make them different. Let's see the light back here. Yep, you guys can see right there. This little dude add right here. So all I'm gonna do, push that over, and my entire lock assembly slides right out. That's it. And the next step is, is all I need is a key that fits it. So this key right here actually goes to my fuel tank. So let's see it. And it fits it. But you'll notice. This sits in a smooth bore, and these tumbler pins, they're, they're, they're essentially tumblers, they're a little bit different, but they don't allow it to spin. And when you put the keys in, the key with the right pattern is supposed to lift all those up and make it so that it's smooth bore so it spins. This last one right here is just that retaining pin that I really pushed in to remove the entire lock cylinder. So I'm gonna push this in, this key in, There we go. You will notice that I have two that are sticking too high and one that's sticking too low, just barely. So, to make this match this key, the easiest thing to do, flat file. With your key inserted, positioned right, I got them all smoothed out, um, but my key doesn't reach the very last. Let me pull this last. This is what they look like. My key isn't long enough to reach the very last one, so the very last one I can't use. So I'm just going to pull it out, and now it's only going to be a four pin instead of a five pin. A little less secure, but who cares? Feels really close. Feels really good. Let's try it out. So let's reinsert this into our thing. Make sure it's locked. Yeah, see that's not by itself. It doesn't spin at all. So now that won't push in, but then now it pushes in, releases the mechanism. See, we got it locked. Does nothing. Unlock. So just like that, takes about five minutes. Um, these locks are pretty common on like um, RV doors or a ton of different things. But you can use this to rekey almost anything. These little locks. There we go. There's nothing. But, take your key, put our key to the unlock position. There 
we go. Easy enough, guys. Hope you hopefully you found some use for it sometime. Hey, if you haven't already, click the little button up there, subscribe. Thanks, guys. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Hey, see you soon. 65 out. Bye.